Okay, it's now a few days after our Pimax Sync event in which we shared progress on the Crystal Lite, 60T Airlink, Crystal Super, and also introduced Pimax Prime. Let's go over these topics and answer some frequently asked questions. Timestamps below. We'll also include questions about the original Crystal and the 12K trading program. So, Crystal Super. When will deliveries begin? The 57 PPD QLED version will start shipping from late January 2025. We're expecting the 50 PPD QLED version to ship in March and the micro OLED in April. So can I pre-order now? Yes, and if you pre-order before Christmas, you get the DMOS headphones and free shipping to selected regions. And we are also opening up pre-orders for the 50 PPD QLED today. Pre-ordering for the micro OLED will start later. I placed a reservation. If I don't pre-order now, will my slot be lost? For the 50 and 57 PPD QLED version, yes, pre-ordering is now. So pre-order before Christmas to get those pre-order benefits as well as to keep your place in the queue. As for the micro OLED, those pre-orders will start in Q1 and you will keep your place in that queue. So some technical questions. Does it support 120 Hz at native resolution? So to make sure we are talking about the QLED here. The resolution is 3840 by 3840 and this is a challenge to run at 120 Hz. We will make a lapse mode and push for 120 Hz native resolution. It's like a beta mode. We also had this on previous headsets as well. Sometimes this feature becomes stable and permanent, and sometimes we just don't like the effect, neither do our users, and then we remove it. Is it using DisplayPort 2.1 or 1.4? So the Crystal Super is using DisplayPort 1.4a. There is currently no NVIDIA GPU out there that supports 2.1, and not just that, there is currently no high band bridge IC for DP to MEP conversion available in the industry that supports DP 2.1. The highest version on any VR headset right now is 1.4a. It's an industry bottleneck. That said, the clarity of the Crystal Super is unaffected and we get the maximum out of these panels. With display stream compression, there is visually lossless compression. What is the field of view? So it's 120 degrees horizontal field of view on the 57 PPD QLED and 135 degrees horizontal on the 50 PPD QLED. I know that there's been a lot of debate about Pimax's FOV numbers, but these are real. So look forward to those reviews. What are the minimum PC requirements? So the RTX 20 series is supported, but I'm not sure if I would recommend it. That said, the TPU requirements are a lot lower than most people think. There's also a part in the sync presentation that talks more in depth about this, like why you can tune down or maybe even turn off anti-aliasing. I'll put the link with timestamps in the description. Is the tracking algorithm the same as the one on the Crystal Light? Yes and no, like we're always improving this and the camera position has also changed, but the algorithm is just the latest version, which is also coming to the Crystal Light. Is the pass-through still black and white? Yes, it's still black and white. Does it support MR? Yes, but for this you will need the MR faceplate, which is coming later. When will the Lighthouse faceplate be released? We are working on this, but we don't have a clear date for it yet. When will it be available on Amazon? The same answer, we're working on it, but we don't have an exact date. What eye tracking solution does it use? And this could be an extremely long answer, but it's made together with Toby. Does the Crystal Super come with DMOS earphones as default? No, this is a benefit for pre-orders, but we also think the default speakers are great. What exactly is eye relief? So this is the adjustable distance between your eyes and the lens, and for that also the panel. This helps make the Crystal Super easily adjustable for loads of users. Everybody's face and eye position is different. Previously, you could change this distance by using a thicker piece of foam, and now you can just roll this wheel. Is the fiber optic cable compatible with the Super? No, the Crystal Super uses the same cable as the Crystal Light. How much does the headset weight? So very similar to the Crystal Light. How many optical engines are there? So there's the 57 PPD QLED, 50 PPD QLED, and the micro OLED. And there might be more in the future. Can I buy only the Crystal Super 50 PPD without buying the 57 PPD when it is released? Yes. So actually to answer this better, once the 50 PPD and the micro OLED optical engines are ready, you can buy each of them as their own headset, but also as a separate optical engine. Does it have upscaling mode? Yes, and we originally thought the upscaling mode would only be used by low-end TPUs. That's why we gave it to the Crystal Light. That is aimed at making PC VR accessible to everyone. And then after user feedback, we are also implementing it now for the Crystal, and it's also coming to the Crystal Super. 
Will 60D Airlink be supported? No. The Crystal Super, like the Crystal Light, has no battery. The 60D Airlink is only for the original Crystal. Are the controllers that come with the Crystal Super similar to the Crystal and the Crystal Light? Yes, they're very similar. There are some improvements, but they're largely the same and they're also compatible with each other. How can I use the 399 US dollar discount mentioned during the Frontier and Sync event? So original Crystal users can use this. First, you pay the base price to receive the headset. And this discount is taken off the price from Pimax Prime in Pimax Play after you receive the headset. If you bought the crystal secondhand, you will need the serial number and the order number to apply the 399 US dollar discount. Each crystal can only use the discount once. And then the last super question, which color is the V on the front? Actually, you can totally set this on your own, regardless of whether you bought the QLED or the micro OLED version. So on the original crystal, upscale mode, when? This feature is now in debugging and beta testing. It's coming really soon. It's hard to set the exact time, uh, depending on which bugs we still find, but it's nearly ready. Then the white FOV lenses. And we know this is taking very long. Production is set for January, so in less than two months. And then the lenses should start shipping in February and March. If this is delayed again, we'll offer a direct compensation. 60T Airlink, when is the beta starting? Soon, like we'll be contacting the candidates today, tomorrow. Where can I pre-order the 60T Airlink? Again, soon. I know this is very Pimax work, but really soon. The Pimax Prime program. So how do refunds work? You pay the base price of 599 for the light or 999 for the super, and then you receive the headset. If you like the headset, then choose Pimax Prime. You can choose to pay at once for a discount, which is 10% for light or 12% for super. Or you can keep trying the headset out for 14 days and then choose Prime. Or you can choose to return the headset and get a refund. We changed this time from 10 to 14 days. Like, we're absolutely confident in our product, but this is customer feedback from the last few days and we do listen to that. Does that mean Prime is not refundable? And this is a kind of trick question. Prime is refundable, but you're not required to pay for Prime within the trade-in window. If, however, you bought Prime within the first 14 days and then want to return the headset, the refund will also include any cost you made for Prime. Also, if we refund headset for whatever reason, the cost for Prime will be included. So why Pimax Prime? And we see this as offering more flexible payment options for users. Users can try the headset for a lower base price and see if they like it. And we're certain of the clarity of the Crystal Super and Crystal Light. It's like unlike anything else you've ever seen. But online, this is very hard to show or to convince you. You have to see it for yourself. So another question, what if I want to sell the headset, but I still have to pay those monthly payments? Again, the fact you chose 24 months is an option. Like you can also choose to pay off Prime in one go and you never have this situation. That said, any contract duration left, you can always choose to pay off the remaining months at once. Then there's just no discount available, which is 10% for light and 12% for super. Even so, every headset, including Pimax Prime, can also be transferred twice during the duration of the contract. Another question, after what time of not paying does it lock? So again, you can also pay Prime at once and you never have this risk. If however you choose monthly payments and then yes, after some time of not paying, the Pimax Play software will stop functioning. You can still use it again as soon as you complete the payment. Do I need to pay for Prime after I paid it off? No. So if you paid for Prime in one go or up to 24 months, the whole headset is yours and you're never required to pay for any subscription. The subscription is tied to your headset. So even if you sell it or give it away, the subscription will not reset. What if I buy from a retailer instead? Or do I have to make the purchase through the official Pimax website? This really depends on the retailer, especially now we're just after sync and there's a transition period. Please check with the retailer. I own a Crystal Light now. Do I need to pay extra? No, never. Prime only applies to new purchases after sync. About the refund window, what if I have a problem during it and I cannot test out the headset in 14 days? So if a problem is reported within the 14 days, then Pimax will extend the tryout time and so to the option for the user to return the headset until that issue is fixed. If a new part needs to be shipped, for instance, a DP cable, then the return window is reset to when that new part has arrived. So the same thing for warranty. If a technical issue is mentioned to Pimax within the warranty period, but because of troubleshooting or sending new parts or debugging, it is dragged out of the warranty, then it will still be covered under the warranty. In other words, 
the warranty is frozen. So another question, whether it's after the one-off payment or two-year installments, if I paid off Pimax Prime, do I still need to be connected to the internet? No, you don't. You may still want to be occasionally connected to the internet to update your Pimax Play or the firmware because that is always being improved, but it's not a requirement. Trade-in program. So the 12K is taking longer than we expected, but it is being developed. It's coming. But to ease the weight, we want to partially open up the trade-in program. Eligible headset can use part of the trade-in value for the Crystal Super. The only thing to mention is that this does not stack with the discount offered for Crystal users. You can use up to 50% of your headset's trade-in value for the Super, up to 399 US dollar, and keep the remaining trade-in value for the 12K. Just like the discount for Crystal users, this will be taken off Prime, not the base price of the Crystal Super. That's it. Any questions you still have, please come join us on Discord, the link below.